Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos on the water for transport chapter. What I'll do in this video is quickly read the actual question. Once I've read the question, I'll give you about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then when you're ready, press play. And I'll go over the actual answer. So read the question. It says carbon dioxide is one of the substances carried in mammalian blood. A. Why is it necessary for excess carbon dioxide to be removed from the blood? That's with one mark. And B, in what forms is carbon dioxide transported in, in the blood? That's with two marks. All right, so pause the video and attempt the question. And when you're ready, press play. Welcome back. Right, so for this one, it has an A and a B. First thing I do is I look at the marks because it just gives one mark for number A and two marks for the second part. And then read the actual question. It says, why is it necessary for excess carbon dioxide to re remove for the body? So why do we have to remove too much carbon dioxide? If we have too much carbon dioxide, why do we have to remove that from the body or from the blood as well, from blood specifically? And the reason why was obviously to do with uh, pH. So think about the reason why. So that lowers pH. I could write that somewhere else, otherwise I'll block my writing. Lowers pH, that was one of the problems. And then you also have to think, what does that lowering pH do? And it has something to do with the enzyme activity, which decreases. And so again, make it short and snappy. It's only worth one mark. Make it short and snappy. Make sure you include those two parts in your answer. So for what I wrote for number A is excess carbon dioxide lowers the pH of cells in plasma. So again, I've written that the actual too much of it means that we've lowered our pH in terms of cells in plasma. That's not, that doesn't give us a market because that's all we've said is it lowers our pH. But then we've quickly also said that it reduces metabolic efficiency of enzymes. So that word metabolic efficiency is a good scientific word to know and to use. It comes from a syllabus itself. And um, it reducing the metabolic efficiency just means that the enzymes work less efficient, less fast. So by saying this, we've said that lowering our pH makes our enzymes less efficient. And we have to get rid of carbon dioxide to maintain a normal constant level in terms of pH. So that was for A. That's a crazily fast mark. One mark for one sentence. B says, in what forms? Now look at the actual S at the end. It says forms. So that's more than one. More than one. Is carbon dioxide transported in blood? Now it's worth two marks. So you, even if you missed that S at the end, if you can see that it's worth two marks, you can already guess there must be more than one. So more than one, just because you don't usually get two marks for naming one form. So think about the forms, and there were actually three forms, and I will mention all of them. Because it doesn't say exactly how many you should name, you can probably guess that if you name two, you, you, you'd be fine, you get two marks. But if you know the three different forms, just name them, because you better safe than sorry. If it doesn't say two forms, then name all three if you can. So in this case, I've named all three. I've said uh, the main form that carbon dioxide travels in the mammalian blood is as hydrogen carbon ions. So that's form one. And I even mentioned, mentioned that's the main form. So the majority of it can be found as these hydrogen carbon ions. And then I also wrote it can also travel attached to hemoglobin as carb amino hemoglobin. That's a form number two. And it can be dissolved in plasma, and that was form number three. Now you should actually get two marks just for naming two of them. So form one should get you in form two, or any one of any of these two. It doesn't have to be that that you have to name uh, hydrogen carbon ions and carbon amino hemoglobins. You can also just name dissolved in plasma and hydrogen carbon ions. Just you have to have two at least, but ideally just name all three of them. And that will get you two marks. So that's three out of three for this exam question. And where, where do these exam questions come from? They come from these syllabus dot points. The first one is outline the need for oxygen in living cells and explain why the removal explain why the removal of carbon dioxide from cells is essential. That's basically exactly that question. So that part goes for question A. And for question B, identify the form and then it was even the S in that question. Identify the forms 
which each of the following is carried. In this case, they didn't ask us for every single one, they just asked us for carbon dioxide. Right, so all these exam questions come from these slip stop points, and I hope that was useful. Thank you for watching.